Welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Gia, and this is my mom. <laughs> and I'm Michelle, and I love to read stories aloud. We love to read stories together. And uh, Gia's here with me, and my other daughter this is, is backstage. backstage behind the camera. It's a family story time today. And today we're going to read a story that was actually written by a friend of ours, mm -hmm. right? And his name is Dr. Fabiano Rabello de Moraes, and he wrote this book called Leonardo and the Black and White Rainbow. And this story is about a little boy named Leonardo who dreams of bringing color into his life and joy into his life. And so it's a sweet story and we'll read it together. We hope you like it. And let's see how Leonardo brings color to this black and white rainbow. Let's read. Leonardo and the Black and White Rainbow by Dr. Fabiano Rabello de Morales. Leonardo and the Black and White Rainbow by Dr. Fabiano Rabello de Morales. On one given morning, Leonardo, a boy who lived in the land of black and white, woke up and felt his heart speaking of something he was yet to know, colors. But as he looked around, he realized everything was black and white. There were no colors. Suddenly, that colorful moment in his heart disappeared, and his disappointment was reflected in his eyes. Leonardo longed for his life also to be full of colors. So, he then made a decision. He was going to paint the rainbow. He had heard that the rainbow should be full of colors, but the rainbow up in the sky, in the land where Leonardo used to live, had only two colors. Since he could not find any colors in the land of black and white, Leonardo decided to travel and look for them somewhere else, in the land of colors. The next morning, he started his journey to the colorful land. Look at that beautiful rainbow over the mountain. When he finally arrived in the land of colors, he picked the most beautiful flowers with the most incredible colors from the most spectacular gardens that ever existed. The flowers turned into the most amazing colors for him to paint the black and white rainbow. Red, yellow, pink, green, blue, orange, and many other colors and shades. Oh, he looks so happy. Leonardo dreamed of making his land the most colorful place that one could find. With that dream in his heart, he began his journey back home. He started using his imagination to find a way to go up into the sky and reach the black and white rainbow. He thought and he thought to the point that he found a solution. That's it. I'm going to follow the rainbow all the way till I find its end. Then, when I find the end of the rainbow, I'll jump onto it. Leonardo waited for the rain to come. Then one day it rained, and the rainbow appeared across the sky. It was beautiful, but it had only the same two colors, black and white. He then started his search to find the end of the rainbow. He walked and walked and walked but he never found the rainbow's end. So he thought again and said to himself, I think that with a ladder, I could get up onto the rainbow. Leonardo started searching for the tallest ladder that ever existed. But after searching for days and searching everywhere, he got tired. Sadly, he could not find a ladder that could take him high enough into the sky. He was sad for a moment since he thought he would never be able to pursue his dream to color the black and white rainbow. But he was not one to give up. No, I'm not going to give up now. I must find a way to get to the rainbow. At that moment, Leonardo looked up to the sky and said, I know someday I'll get there and I'll turn the land of black and white into a colorful and happy place. Suddenly, as if by magic, a flock of beautiful white doves appeared out of nowhere crossing the sky. With excitement, Leonardo shouted, Wow, how could I not have thought of that before? I can get many doves together, tie them up with a string, and they will take me up in the air, all the way up to the rainbow. So he scattered lots of corn grains on the ground, and it didn't take long before the doves came to eat the corn. Leonardo let them eat as much as they wanted. What a great meal! As the doves got stronger, he put them together with the string and they flew away. 
taking with them the dreamful boy holding on to the end of the string. Flying high and getting higher every minute, they flew over the highest mountains and around the sun and the moon. Looks like they're not the only ones flying around the moon, huh? After flying over the whole world, Leonardo finally got to the end of his journey. His dream was now reality. He was on the black and white rainbow. He set the doves free and was so grateful for their help. They flew away, happy for having been able to help Leonardo pursue his dream. From up there, he looked down at the land of black and white, and he could even see the faraway land of colors. Leonardo was ready to start painting the black and white rainbow. Tragically, as he turned to use the colors, he realized that he had forgotten to bring them. I left behind all the colors, he screamed. At that very instant, Leonardo felt the same way he felt when he woke up and his heart was speaking of colors. Only this time, his heart started radiating the most incredible colors, as if from the most beautiful flowers from the most spectacular gardens that ever existed. The colors wouldn't stop flowing, and the once black and white rainbow was now the most colorful one in the entire universe. Leonardo, to this day, lives in the land of thousands of colors. The end. The end. Well, that was a sweet story. What did you think? I really liked it. You liked it? You know what I liked? I liked how that page where the colors were beaming out of Leonardo's heart. What did you think? What did you like? I liked when he um, got all the birdies and tied them up to a rope to get on top of the rainbow. Oh, can you imagine doing that? That would be fun, wouldn't it? And I think it's a great message to remember that the love we send from our hearts can change the world, just like the colors that radiated out of Leonardo's heart. Well, if you liked the story, what do we hope everyone will do? Please hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs> and if you would like to request a story for us to read aloud for you, just head over to my Facebook page and join our book club. It's Storytime with Michelle Book Club. And you can request a story right there. Until next time. Bye. Happy reading.